Windows 11 deactivating after the 24H2 update has been causing headaches for many users lately. If you've updated your system and suddenly noticed that your activation status is gone, don't panic. You're not alone. Many users who've had Windows 11 pre-installed or even upgraded from previous licenses are seeing this issue after the update. Let's walk through why this might be happening and how you can resolve it. When you update your Windows 11 system, especially with a major feature update like 24H2, sometimes the activation mechanism gets disrupted. This happens because Windows checks the validity of your license, and sometimes mismatches occur, especially for OEM licenses that come pre-installed on PCs. If you try to enter your product key again, you might get an error stating that Windows cannot activate or recognize the key. The first thing you should do is check your activation status. Go to Settings, then System and select Activation. Here, you'll likely see a message saying, Windows is not activated, along with an error code such as 0xc4c3. This code usually means there's an issue with the key or the system is temporarily unable to validate it. One of the quickest fixes you can try is the Activation Troubleshooter. Open Settings greater than System greater than Activation and click on Troubleshoot. Let Windows run the tool and attempt to resolve the issue automatically. In some cases, the troubleshooter may reactivate your system after rechecking the license with Microsoft servers. You might need to run this tool a couple of times before it works. If that doesn't help, let's try using a command to refresh the license information. Right-click the Start menu, type CMD, and select Run as Administrator. In the command prompt, type this command, SLMG slash RILLC, and press Enter. This command reloads the license configuration files. Once it's complete, close the command prompt and restart your computer. Go back to the activation page in Settings and check if it's now working. If not, Click on Troubleshoot again. It might be able to detect the changes and reactivate Windows. If your system still refuses to activate and you're sure you have the correct product key, manually re-entering it can help. Go back to the activation settings, click Change Product Key, and type in your valid Windows 11 key. Make sure to double check it, as even a small typo can cause issues. After entering it, follow the prompts to confirm and activate for users with OEM keys, those that came pre-installed. It's also worth checking if your system is mistakenly detecting a different Windows edition. Sometimes the update can cause the system to flip to an incorrect edition, like Enterprise instead of Home or Pro. If you're seeing this happen, re-entering your original product key usually forces the system back to the correct edition and resolves the issue. In rare cases, if nothing works, your Windows license might need to be revalidated directly with Microsoft support. You can contact Microsoft and provide them with your product key, as well as any proof of purchase or details about your system. They can confirm your license and help you reactivate it. One last tip. If you've upgraded to Windows 11 from a previous version like Windows 10, make sure you still have access to your original Windows 10 product key. Sometimes the activation issues stem from an upgrade path, and reverting to the previous key can help validate your system. So, with a bit of patience, you'll have Windows 11 activated and running smoothly again. Let me know in the comments if you faced this issue and how you resolved it. Good luck, and I hope this video helped.